W -w What's going on guys? My name is Love Cubs and welcome back to another video in Minecraft. Kinda? It's 4D minor demo. This is Minecraft in four dimensions. <laughs> it's pretty trippy. Uh, we're gonna create a new world here. Alright, what should our world seed be? Uh, I think it should be some very intelligent number. Maybe like a four... Two... No, I don't think so. Maybe a... 69,420. That seems like a good number. Uh, we're going to generate caves. Uh, cave size, sure. Biome size, make it a bit bigger. Make cave size a bit bigger. Oh, we're going to amplify that terrain 200% and we're going to create a new world. Okay, before I go too far, I'm going to just turn some of this music down. Okay, I'm in this world now. Uh, I think how it works. Okay. Fourth dimensions is really kind of confusing. So this looks like Minecraft, right? Three dimensions, it looks pretty normal. But, oh, I, I'm kind of half inside this block. What? Oh, you're a monster, aren't you? I can't really see what you are. I don't even know how to explain fourth dimensions to you guys, but if I scroll... We're now looking through the different slivers of the fourth dimension. <laughs> and this mob that I'm not able to hit at all, this is just a sliver of the mob because uh, I can't explain it. Now you're a different mob? Oh, there's two of them now. I can't break anything either. So this is just a demo. I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to be able to do. So I don't see any buttons to actually mine. It just says to look with your mouse. I can select different slots. It does say I can look in 4D. So we're going to check that out. Sprint is control. Crouch is shift. We can teleport upwards with T. Okay. Um, okay I'm going to look in 4D. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I, I think I broke the, the game. Okay, we have a butterfly maybe. Yeah, so if I, I'm just holding middle click and I'm trying to like get an idea as to what the heck is in front of me here. Uh, whatever it was, they're, they're gone now. Okay, there. Oh, you can see the mob. You can see part of its leg. Oh, it's a lot creepier now. It's a lot creepier now. Okay, we're out of here. Um, I need to I need to find my way through this fourth dimension. Um, how do I explain fourth dimension? So picture a 2D world. Picture Mario running left to right, right? That's a 2D world. That's just... oh. Okay, I don't know what happened. I froze there for a second. Uh, that's just a 2D world, right? My, Mario running left to right is like one of these chunks here, right? It's just a little sliver. This is all he sees. He can only go straight. So in a 3D world, we have a third dimension that has the left, right, forward, backwards, up, and down. Well, a fourth dimension adds another one of those dimensions so that we can see a sliver of that in our third dimension and to be able to see the other dimensions this is me scrolling through the other slivers and if i just hold the middle click button down and rotate you'll kind of see how I, I can't really see it i my brain can't process this so i don't know how i'm supposed to explain it so i'm sorry Alright guys, there's actually a tutorial to try to explain this. By comparing the differences between 2D and 3D space, you can get ideas on how 3D space relates to a 4D space. Alright, let's continue. Since Frank is 2D, he can only exist in a 2D plane. But that doesn't stop him from exploring the third dimension. So that was kind of what I was trying to explain with Mario earlier. Frank can move around within any 2D cross-section of the 3D world around him. So this is Frank. See his little frog body jumping along here? This is his 2D plane. And if you look at it in a 3D world, that's what he sees. Whatever's on this clear, translucent white plane. Frank also has a unique ability to rotate his plane of on... Rotate his plane of existence in the third dimension, allowing him to see any cross-section he wants. So you can kind of see the corner pieces of blocks sticking through here now. That's what we were experiencing in the three dimension to four dimension view. So now we're in this area. We're going to control what he's able to see. Uh, we're going to move 
like this. So you can kind of see what I'm jumping around up on the right hand side in the 3D world, but what I see in the 2D world. Now we're going to scroll and change our plane. So this is what Frank's seeing in the 2D world. Remember, this is all he can see. But in our world, this is what we're seeing him do. So it's rotating and Frank is getting some weird, weird views of blocks, but He's able to navigate it. Very cool. Can we find a cave for Frank to, en to enter? Oh, right there. Boom. We're inside of a cave. Or are we? Oh, now I'm on the right-hand side. <laughs> I'm in the cave. So now if I keep scrolling here, this roof should close in on me. No, it's just moving to the left. It's so weird. The same logic applies to third and fourth dimensions. You can scroll with your mouse to rotate your view of the 4D world and see entirely new aspects of the terrain. Now we're ready to play 4D minor. <laughs> right. So I hope that 2D to 3D kind of explanation helps explain what we're trying to do in a 3D to 4D world. <laughs> this is so trippy. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, okay, there are definitely monsters. Um, my, my hunger is really low. Or is that just my stamina? That might just be my stamina. Uh, teleport upwards. Oh! I think I saw something over here. Yeah, we do have a cave over here. So let's go check out a cave in the fourth dimension. I'm just going to scroll through here a little bit. There was definitely a monster there. But if I just switch the dimension that I'm in, or the sliver... I can't see it and it's not there, even though I still exist in this dimension. We got ores! This is so trippy. I wish I could mine. I don't know what the point is in being able to cycle through hot fire slots if I can't do anything with it. I can crouch. I can't do anything. Um, can, I, can I go for a swim? Oh, you can actually die apparently. <laughs> Okay, well, we're back here. Um, oh, okay, we got a purple dimension over here. Or biome, I should say. I really wish I could see this guy. Oh, wait, I just found a cave in this dimension. Okay, now if, if I'm down in this, can I rotate some more and find something else? <gasps> Was that an opening? Okay, I found ores. Ah, there's a monster here! I can't I still can't attack it. Oh, maybe up here. Oh, this is so trippy. I'm trying to like rotate through to see if I see any caves opening up. Okay, seriously, leave me alone. I I don't I don't see any caves loading. Oh, well, I guess I I guess that's kind of it for Oh, wait. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm back on the surface. I guess that's kind of it for uh, 4D Minecraft. Um, I definitely suggest you guys take it down low or, uh, you know, go check it out. It is just in demo right now, but I hope they continue to update it. It'd be kind of cool to try to survive a night in this, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It's so messed up. Oh my goodness. Okay, I found a nice green biome. I'm going to stay right here. I'm just going to scroll through here real quickly. Um, it'd be so cool if... Oh, I thought I found a house there. It's like a pumpkin or something. It'd be so cool if you could like come across structures while exploring the four dimension. I, I Okay, it's getting nighttime and I just want to end this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I can't look at my character. So I'm just going to have to wave goodbye to you virtually. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. If you haven't already, leave me alone, dude. Jeez. <laughs> leave a comment with anything else you guys want to see on the channel but guys most importantly please do not forget to have a lovely day bye guys I i'm waving bye